welcome to my pregnancy vlog. So hopefully you figured this out by now, but I'm pregnant, yay! And I think that Zach and I are expecting um, Little Life Festi around July, maybe early August. I don't know, when I plug it into different apps and stuff, it tells me July 30th, but I actually haven't even had my first doctor appointment yet. So I kind of thought this was like, find out, go to the doctor the next week, but they make you wait. Uh, so I'll probably have more information about that soon. Um, of course, by the time I post this, I'll be in the second trimester and we would have told everybody, so this is probably old news by then anyway. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And if you'll excuse me, I'm going to make some salad like back and forth while I'm talking just because of time. Uh, but I did really want to get this started uh, today. So I found out about two weeks ago um, that I was pregnant, well, about two and a half. It was November 20th. And I will definitely uh, tell the full story about that sometime. But uh, for today, I mostly just kind of wanted to say why I'm doing this and just kind of what my goal is, which really is mostly just for myself. Uh, so far, I've like super loved, sorry about the noise, uh, being pregnant. It's been really fun and exciting, and I've just loved it. So I really want to remember this journey and like, all that God is doing. So it's mostly just really for me. However, uh, I figured it would also be fun for like, you know, other friends that I might have who are pregnant. If you wanna share ideas or tips to try, um, if you're pregnant and you wanna maybe pick up some tips, uh, or if you just love us and you wanna feel like part of the journey, then you're welcome to watch. But if nobody wants to watch, like I won't get offended because um, this is definitely going to be me blabbing. It's not going to be like Zach doing fun stuff. Which is a lot more entertaining, I'm sure. But um, right now, I'm putting together some salad. Uh, I definitely have been trying to eat really, really, really healthy. There are tons of good pregnancy superfoods. Some of them are peppers and carrots. And I forgot why, but they both have the same uh, like vitamin or whatever that's supposed to be really good for you. So if you are pregnant, make sure you're eating lots of peppers and carrots. Or if you're just trying, you know, because you never know. Um, or if you just want to start building healthy habits for when you are. Uh, yeah. So anyway. I will um, check back in when I'm not like kind of preoccupied doing this, I think, and tell y'all more um, the story about how I found out um, will be in this vlog and a little bit more details about exercising and what I've been eating. Hey guys, so I'm back and I have a little bit of time before my next school, so I thought I'd go ahead and just share uh, the details of the story about how I found out I was pregnant. Uh, by the way, I think if I can get him to do it, I'm gonna do like a Zach uh, interview so you can get his point of view uh, later. So just stay tuned for that. But um, I found out on Friday, November 20th, which was the day before my birthday. And there's a testimony in all of this, so uh, listen up. I uh, had the week from like hell. I had a bad reaction to some cavities getting filled, which by the way has never happened to me in my life and I've had plenty of cavities. I have great hygiene, so I don't know why, but um, had a bad reaction, so my teeth were super sensitive and I was taking um, Advil. And I was like, I better take a pregnancy test, an early detection one. Um, just to make sure I'm not pregnant, you know, we had kind of started trying and I was like, there's a small possibility and, um, so I'm just going to make sure before I keep popping all this, you know, ibuprofen left and right. So I took a test and it said that I was not, but I didn't take it in the morning like you're supposed to. And, um, I also, I think it was just a little bit too early, uh, in the cycle. So it said that I was not, so I was kind of, you know, disappointed and stuff. Because for those of you who don't know, I was diagnosed with PCOS uh, about a year and a half ago. And so I've been taking medication and everything, um, 
but I, you know, didn't know for sure if it was going to be hard for us to conceive or not. And so, you know, when I was like, oh, I'm not pregnant, I was kind of disappointed. And, and in the back of my head, you know, was like, I wonder if it's going to take a while and stuff or be hard. Um, but anyway, that was that. And then um, the, you know, test comes with two. So a couple of days went by and then I got sick, like really sick. Like I was running fever, um, over a hundred for like three days straight. That hasn't happened to me in years. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I have the flu. So I was like, I better go to the doctor and I better just take the other pregnancy test. Like I already know I'm not pregnant, but let's just make sure, uh, you know, so I don't go like to the doctor and get some crazy flu medicine or something and then, you know, take that. So I went ahead and took the test and then it came back positive and it was a digital one. So like, yes, plus, you know, no mistake. So I'm just in the bathroom, like freaking out. Um, I wanted to tell Zach, but you know, I wanted to tell him in a cute way, not like, you know, here's my stick or whatever. So um, I just like pretended like I was taking a shower, just like tried to calm down, you know, act really normal. He left. I went through the whole rest of the day. It was the day before my birthday too. So like I was getting phone calls and texts from all my family and friends. And I was just having to like, you know, totally, uh, sorry, I'm kind of watching my time, but I was just having to totally, uh, you know, ignore it and just not say anything to anyone. Um, oh, and then Caitlin even texted me and she was like, ha ha, saw this Facebook post that the most common names of women to get pregnant in 2016 and our names are on the list. And I just like couldn't even respond to her for like three hours, you know. Um, but anyway, it was a super exciting day, even though I felt like crap, um, and it was great. And the testimony in all of this is that I always had a feeling uh, I would be pregnant or have a kid by the time I was 24. I don't know why, I just always thought that. Um, Zach and I had always said that we would wait two or three years, and we got married when we were 21. So the number 24 was just kind of always in the back of my head. And I ended up finding out my last day being 24 uh, on November 20th, the day before my birthday. And the only reason I took the test that day uh, was because, you know, I wanted to make sure since having the flu. So uh, even having the flu and having bad cavity fillings and all of that, it all turned out really well. And I didn't care about any of that after I found out I was pregnant. What's up, everybody? I am on my way to our first, I think Sarah called it a prenatal appointment. Um, I just call it going to the doctor. Um, so I'm pretty excited for our little, uh, little Zach Jr. or Sarah Jr. to get here. Um, can't wait to tell. Zach Jr. to put a little fake roach in uh, under his mom's pillow, or um, you know, little Sarah Jr. to uh, put on her little ballerina tutu and dance around. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like to be a dad, but I'm sure it'll be fun, and I'm sure it'll be tough, and uh, I know. Uh, a lot of you think I like to say funny things all the time, but if you ever talk to kids, they say funny things all the time, so I'm really excited to hear what they say, especially uh, little Zach Jr., because I'm sure he's going to be a comedian, so I'm excited, and uh, we're going to go, I guess you hear the heartbeat at this first appointment or something like that, and uh, that's exciting, and yeah, never made a baby before, so here we go. Okay, guys, so we just got done at our appointment, and here's our baby. Can you tell? Can you see? So cute. <laughs> Zach, stop it. And we, uh, we heard the heartbeat, and everything is good. Baby's happy. Well, I mean, yes, happy and healthy. Um, I'm seven weeks, three days, so exactly what we thought. Uh, due date is still July 30th and baby looks good so 
Um, everything's good. Uh, I definitely have some research to do. We got this big bag, Zach. We got this big bag from uh, Vi Viagra. Uh, no, I mean, our doctor gave us this big bag of stuff and papers to go through, and then this other little thing. What's this other thing? Uh -oh. Baby, you're dropping the stuff out of the. We got a lunchbox uh, for the baby's uh, first year of kindergarten. <laughs> no, that's. I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. There was like so much going on, but. Uh, for newborn. Liquid starter kit for newborns. So, I don't know. Like, this is really early to be eating all this stuff. But, this anyways. Is a starter kit? I'll probably, like, go through this or something. So, if you're planning on starting a baby, they actually grow <laughs> in here. It's, no. This is how you start a baby nowadays. It's in here. In here. Pregnancy's Uterus. overrated. Just get no. the lunchbox. <laughs> no. That's not true. Okay, well anyways, um, we're really happy. Baby's doing well. Like I said, the appointment went great. I meant to film Leah. She actually came for the ultrasound, but she left, and then we were doing other stuff with the doctor. Zach, I'm talking to the thing. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna lose my train of thoughts. Anyways, Leah was here. I just, I didn't get a chance to film her, but I want everyone to know that. So, um, that's it. We're gonna go to work now, but we love you, baby.